<laughs> I know. Look at all. Oh, there's more coming right now. Guys, I have a great idea. I know. Look at all. Oh, there's more coming right now. Guys, I have a great idea. We, starting yesterday, our pond froze, and then yesterday it rained. And I don't know why, but the geese are super into that. They have come from everywhere, and our pond is covered in geese. And I have this idea that for the Goody Finn and Dad channel, what we should do is we should take a goose decoy. We have some of these decoys that are hollow inside and we should mount a GoPro <clears throat> to the back of the decoy and we should put a remote control car in here and we should drive it out there and see if we can see what we can see. See if we can get the geese to not all immediately just fly away and see if we can drive this guy. Do you think that the geese will be like, that's not real? Or do you think that they'll tolerate this, this fake goose going in amongst them? So the ice isn't really thick enough to walk on. What if your remote control car gets stuck out there? That's what I was thinking. We'd have to get it back with like a fishing rod. We'd have to cast it out there and snag it and pull it back or something. But that's why <clears> we should use that big one that I have, because that's the only four-wheel drive we're going to car. Do you think it'll fit inside of here? I hope so. Let's try it out. You guys want to see if you can fit it on there? This is also kind of redemptive because we've kind of been sick, which is a bummer. Flu hit our house, so Finn was supposed to have a party today for his birthday. And we couldn't have the party because Finn... Because we kind of all are sick. And mom's especially not feeling good. Is it going to fit on there, Goody? Yeah. The thing is, when geese are walking, they're not in that position. I wish we had a different head position. So that, you know, I think this is what's weird. Oh, the head fell clear off. Like, we could have him like that. It's like, it's like he's the very... It's like he's the very sheepish goose. He's like, well, I'm just walking around with my head down, guys. But maybe that's the way to go. Just have him kind of head down like that. <clears throat> Do you think the geese are going to be like, wait, a goose with wheels? I think you're going to need to drive it real slow, Goody. Okay, well, let's try it out. Oh, wait, we got to mount the GoPro on it. And I noticed this guy has a hole right here. And I think this is actually so when you stack them, they don't get stuck to each other. And I wish we had a GoPro mount that would just like, we could thread a, a bolt up this and just screw it into like a GoPro mount. But it, as it is, we don't have a GoPro mount like that, but we do have an adhesive one that's never been stuck. So I think this goose decoy is just gonna get a, a GoPro stuck to it. Uh, this is kind of an old mount. I hope this sticky is still sticky. Oh, it feels like it's really, really sticky. There it's going. Oof. I hope we don't leave residue on this decoy either. It's not even ours. Our friend Jeff Dunham lent us these decoys. These aren't even our decoys. This is not even our decoy. Okay, it's stuck on there like super, super good. Maybe we'll just leave this GoPro mount on this decoy and then whenever we're goose hunting, we've got one that we can mount a GoPro to. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure if we have good battery and everything. Try to power it on. This isn't that good of a GoPro either. I can't get this power up. There we go. Looks like it's working. I'm gonna check it out, Penny. Cool. This guy wants to pop off of here. Is there anything we're gonna need to do to like affix this onto here? Like tape it? <coughs> you got the battery in there? Yep. What kind of car do you have here? It's a Arma Sentin 4x4. Cool. And I got it last year and I had saved up my money for like four years. So. 
What's up? What if it dies? I think the battery's good, don't you? Oh, yeah. It has... You have to charge it for, like, 30 or 45 minutes. Or I don't even know. You have to charge it for whatever time, and then you get that same amount of run time. Let's try to be real quiet out there. And drive this thing real slow. I don't think so. Here, let me see if I can get it on there. There. I think that you gotta stretch the body out. There, it's on there. That's totally it's on there. I think we need one more. Three zip ties to get around there. You know? Yeah, those were kind of cheap ones. Oh man, is this gonna make it? It's just barely kind of zip. Got it. Now, this probably makes it look even less realistic, but I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh-oh. The RC Goose. Should we test it out after this and see if it'll work, if it'll drive? Okay, are we on? All right, good. What's the slowest you can make it go? Yeah, like that. Can you back it up? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's go. Goose season in our area ended yesterday. These guys are everywhere. There's still some up in the field up there too. Okay, we got over where they couldn't see us as much. There we go, now get this guy back on here. Then let's power this on. Okay, I think we're recording. You can see the goose's neck out there. See? Okay. Yeah. Set okay. It down. Okay. Can I do it for a minute now? Yeah. Okay, guys, stop. Stand, stop right there, Goody. We're gonna stand right here by the shed so they don't get scared. They're already getting weird by us. They think something's not right. They're like, wait, what do we got going on here, guys? This seems weird. They're looking right at it, and they're like, wait, this, this doesn't seem normal. They're nervous about it. Okay, stay here. Stay close to the house. Look at all of them. Just an insane amount of geese. Crazy. It's kind of wet and rainy a little bit. They're not so sure about it, are they? They're starting to have opinions. I got stuck. Oh, you're stuck? Oh no, it's stuck. Oh no. Our plan has been thwarted. You got stuck on the plant on the edge. Hmm. Well, I wonder if we can go unstick it without um, scaring them all away. Okay, yeah, I have an idea. I'm gonna take this decoy from our blind, I'm gonna put it on my back, and I'm gonna crawl down there. I put on some overalls, and I'm gonna crawl down there, and I'm gonna try to free that up. And I don't think they're, I think this will make them nervous, but I'm hoping it doesn't make them fly away. Daddy, you have a lot of crazy ideas. A lot of crazy ideas. Okay. 
There. Now, here we go. I'm going to see if I can crawl out there. And they'll see your butt. I gotta go get a coat on. I'm gonna get soaking wet. Yeah, you Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it got stuck because there was open water and it would have fallen off into the open water. So it worked out. I think you got it stuck over there. I'm really making them nervous. They're like kind of nervous about what's going on, but they're not like quite scared enough to leave. And they like it here so much that even with a slight threat or what they perceive as a slight threat, they're just kind of like shying away, but not fully leaving. Here they come. That one's landing. The rest of them aren't so sure because they're not sure about Goody. He's almost over there. These guys just got nervous. They got nervous. But it's okay, there's still some more. Good, he's got it going again. What happened, Goods? What happened? Oh, okay. Is your car still running? So, but will this still run? Well, I don't know. There's like wispy, strandy weed. It seems like they're... It, 
We'll run, but it could cause like a problem on those like spinning. You know, in box trucks, how you can see those the drive shaft. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got weeds on the drive shaft. The drive shaft on it's like these. So when you spin this, there's this drive thing and this drive one that goes through a hole in here and connects to this one. And well, here, let's just try again. Okay, are we on? Yeah. Okay, let's try again. Let's find some good ice that we can put it on. <laughs> I just decided that creeping on, on them wasn't going to work, so I just decided to blast in on them and see what we got. Okay. Should we go recover the car now? Yeah. Are famous for is poop and look there is poop on the lens i wonder how long that was there and there's poop all over this thing from all the goose poop on the ice oh my gosh it's just splattered with poop and unsurprisingly the whole shore of our pond is just covered in like uh just an incredible amount of goose poop <laughs> 